Barrio looks like he's on his way to Man City. Transfer rumor segment. I mean, to me, this is the – and they don't need anything, really, unless Bernardo Silva goes. Then you have a little bit of a hole there. But even then, I think that could be – You could fill that. You could fill that. I think Foden will get the chance there. Yeah. Vardio, the city, to me, is, is – I don't like to use the word. It's just, like, unfair because – now you have Diaz, who's already top three center back in the world. Gavardiol, who I argue, you know, he was fantastic at the World Cup. Really good for Leipzig. Left-footed center back. Obviously, I think he's the most coveted center back in the world right now. He's, what, 20? 20, 21? 21, I think, yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, I, this is just kind of me just moping as a Liverpool fan, but Chelsea fan, Everton fan, I guess you don't really care as much. but Because nothing's – you're not winning the league anytime soon. But obviously, I mean, there was a verbal bid for $75 million rejected it's going to look like they'll have to do a hundred million flat for him city will do that every day of the week they'll throw that at them i think the deal will get across what do we think of it uh this is one that i'm actually not too put off by i think Gavardiol will have more success in a system other than man city's weirdly i think that the one place where i've seen Gavardiol struggle a little bit is physicality i think which is a, it's a really weird one because he's got the perfect build for a center back He's big, like he looks huge on the field. Yeah, he's, he's fast, he's strong, but I think the one spot I saw him struggle just a little bit, just looked a little bit put off in the World Cup, was dealing with balls over the top, dealing with fast strikers in behind who were able to get a muscle on him. Like Holland a, a, in the Champions League. But Holland gives every single center back yeah. in the world struggles. But I mean, even with someone like, if I was Gavardiol, I'd be nervous if there was a ball put over the top to Che Adams. Che Adams does a great job getting past center backs and then <laughs> putting a, a body on someone. <laughs> Out of all the strikers, I, I, Genuinely, this is just the one that came to mind. I don't, <laughs> well, I don't think this Chay guy Adams would... Luckily, Che Adams in the championship, so you yeah. don't have that problem. <laughs> but I think that Gavardiol, if there's one place he struggles, it's where Man City is the weakest. If mm-hmm. Man City... There's, there's no way to score against Man City unless you're putting balls over the top and you're hoping to get a counterattack goal. I think that's one place where... Nathan Ake looked fantastic this season, and Gavardiol, that's the one place where he lacks for me. I think playing as the left-sided center back for Man City, because that's where he'll be, that's Nathan Ake's role, I, I prefer Ake right now. I actually, okay, so I don't hate, I think it's the kind of saying where it's like, if it's not broke, don't fix it yeah. with Nathan Ake. But I would argue Gavardiol, in terms of counterattacking defensive center backs, might be the best to have in the world. He's really fast. Obviously, I, I guess he did struggle with the, the physicality part of the ball. Or, uh, of, of the game I agree though Because I think I mean it's It's so tough Because it's like a luxury For Man City Like they can go get Gavardiol But Nathan Ake was fantastic He's not super old You know Obviously they won the treble Like really What can you do But I think for City You need to be making moves Because you don't want to get too Yeah Like Happy in that place Like oh we're going to win the league We're going to go win the Champions League again So I get it It strengthens their team Obviously But I do agree that it's like why did you need to make the signing? But again, it's quite, like you know, it's it's a tough thing to say because like he's fantastic, but you don't need a. I agree. I don't think you need him, but I will say, and this is again in the Bundesliga. I know the Premier League has a higher rate of physicality, has better strikers, but I didn't see him get put off at all with long balls at Leipzig. I was watching in the World Cup. It was there was, and this is maybe playing in the Croatian back line that wasn't super strong necessarily, but this is he looked to me. Premier League is the most physical league in the world. Yeah. Gavardiol, don't get me wrong. I think he's a fantastic player. I think he's worth every penny of $100 million. Yeah, I agree. The problem for me is I don't think he's worth every penny of $100 million when I prefer Ake for Man City. Well, here's the thing. Ake, as great as he was, he did lack some things in passing and ball progressing where Man City are looking to improve from the back. Obviously, they're pushing stones into the midfield now because they want to improve that back and they know that Stones is too important of a ball movement player to have at the back. So they want to improve that spot now, and I think Josko Gavardiol gives you exactly what you need from a left-footed center back where, okay, he was excellent, but I think that's one spot he was lacking was as a ball progressor Mm -hmm. and as a distributor. You see Gavardiol at Leipzig. I don't know how much anyone watched of the Bundesliga. I watched a fair share of the Bundesliga this season just because I have nothing to do, (laughs) and I watch a lot of soccer. So... He, him, Simican, Orban, all excellent ball progressors for Leipzig, and that was the reason that they had their resurgence in the second half of the year, the reason that they gave Man City a challenge in the Champions League tie they had, and Gavardiol, I think, is the perfect signing if they want to bring in a ball progressor. Again, $100 million, even for Man City, is not a small sum of money for a team that already has great center backs, so do you need him? No, but why not? 
it's like saying, do you need, did they need Holland? Like, they probably could have. Ah, no, Holland. Yeah, Holland that's, won them. that's the one that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Holland won them. But amazing. even then, they won two Premier Leagues before that. Yeah, exactly. So, but it's the kind of, yeah. So it's really who do City need. But I agree. I think Gavardiol is the one center back in the world I think you would ask every single team would take. Young, proven. One, one of the center backs yeah. in the yeah. world. Come to mind, you got Gavardiol, Kim and Jay. Before that Champions League disaster class with Omicano. Yeah, I mean, Araujo. I mean, well, if you I'm, think Araujo twenty four, Kim and Jay twenty six. If it, if it's me and, and I'm Man City and I'm looking for a perfect fade, I'm looking at Matias De Litt. I think he's a much better player. But Matias De Litt's had his down years in Europe in the past few years. Uh, he playing with good, Juventus, he didn't have a good year at Juventus. He didn't have a particularly good year here, this year at Bayern. I if I'm if I'm looking for an yeah. ideal center back for Man City, ball progression, one of the best tacklers in the world. Yeah. Fantastic. Time. Matias Delict, and you could probably get him at the same price. I think you got him for cheaper. Delict wouldn't cheaper. be a hundred. No think, way. Delitt from would be Bayern, I think you. I think you're paying a lot of money to get him. I disagree. I think Gavardiel's a better player, and I think Gavardiel's a better fit. I fully disagree yeah. on that. 